Hey folks, and welcome to my little travel vlog that I'm gonna share with you here. I am currently in Manchester in the UK. It is Monday, November 21st, and I thought I would catch you up on what it took to get me here. I'm gonna do a little bit of knitting while we're chatting. My travel project so far has been my Musselboro hat, which is coming along beautifully. So yesterday I had a flight at four o'clock from Boston to JFK and Dan got me to the airport nice and early. I got there at two, flew through security, grabbed a veggie burger at Be Good, which was delicious, and waited for my flight. That went off without a hitch. I was in first class for the first time. <laughs> I did not pay for these plane tickets and was able to be the first one off the plane, which worked out great because while we landed early, it took a little bit for us to taxi in and get our, you know, our spot at the gate and all that good stuff, which meant that I had less than an hour to get over to another terminal for my flight to Manchester. So I made it just by the skin of my teeth. I raced off, had to take this Delta Jitney shuttle over to the next terminal, and I ran, walked, ran, walked to get to my other gate, and it all worked out, thankfully. So um, that was a very fortunate. I was in this like premium class kind of situation. I'll put in some photos and videos of that, but it was, it was pretty great. Once we Took, well, before we took off, they took my order. So I ordered some farro salad and ravioli for dinner and a nice cold, what was it, Hazy Jane IPA, which was really good. And it came in a glass, like an actual glass, not plastic, with actual silverware and a cloth napkin. It was pretty fancy for an airplane. I've never had that kind of setup. And the, the seat was one of those ones on the diagonal where you can have your feet up the whole time and then the, the flight attendants will come through whenever you're ready and basically put you to bed. There's a, a top, no, sorry, a bottom sheet and then a duvet and then the, I thought that the seat would kind of come down like this and turn into the bed, but it doesn't. This part comes down and fills in the spot where your legs were before and you can go to bed and it was pretty great. I, I slept a little bit, but I didn't sleep quite as much as I thought that I would. I, my meds got a little bit off schedule, so I, I'm Kind of chalking it up to that but that's all right i landed early in manchester and the company sent a car to get me the driver paul was absolutely lovely he was a delight it was still dark even till almost seven o'clock in manchester but he was trying to tell me all about the different homes and the different construction and when different things were built so it was just it was really lovely and because I was early when I texted him to say that I was there, he was getting a coffee, and so he got me a coffee, a banana, an apple, and a granola bar, which was perfect because that's what I've eaten today. So thank you, Paul. <laughs> um, so he told me that there was a last minute change of plans and they asked to drop me off at the company headquarters instead. And I wasn't gonna argue with him. They booked this, this ride for me. And so I went to the headquarters and I got there and it was like a, a training center. And they're like, oh, are you here for dialysis training? And I was like, nope, sure I'm not. Um, so it took a little bit to get that sorted. I guess what happened was he had taken a picture of you know the board that he was using to pick me up with my name and the hotel. I'm at the Moxie Hotel and I guess the person writing back said, no, no, it um, it's not moxie it's baxter don't put uh, don't put um moxie on the sign which he meant for security reasons don't put my location on the sign but the driver thought that meant no no don't put moxie because she's not going to moxie so he ended up coming back and picked me up which was great i just sat there and knit for a little bit daylight finally came it doesn't get light here until um like 7 40 or something in the morning and it gets dark at four. So they have even shorter days than we're having at home right now. So I just knit a little bit on my hat and then they brought me over here. I got checked in. I will do a little uh, room tour that I took when I got here. I have arrived at the hotel. This is the Moxie in downtown Manchester. Let's check it out. My TV. A nice bed here. Cool little bench. I don't know what the view looks like. There's another building right next door, I think. Yeah, it looks like we got some offices down there. 
All right, let's check out the bathroom. Cool. This will do. And then I decided I would just go ahead and take a little bit of a nap to make sure that I can kind of get through the rest of the day. And then I should be on track, hopefully, for the rest of the week. So that is the journey so far. I washed up, brushed my teeth again, got into my Christmas sweater because I'm going to head over to the Christmas market. And we will see what the rest of the day brings. I will likely be meeting up with my friend Austin later and maybe one of the other contacts from the company. So we'll see how that goes. I thought I would show you. I've been using Progress Keepers to mark my progress. So this marker here is where I was on Sunday. So yesterday when I started. And then I put a new marker in for today. So you can see how much I did. Where's that? That's quite a bit of knitting. So yeah, this hat is, it's coming along nicely. This is going to be for my brother for Christmas, so don't tell him. All right, well, it is time to get my bag packed up and to get out of here, so I will talk to you later. Over the next few days I was working, I gave a big presentation, so there's not a lot to share with you there, but check out these really cool knitted coverings on the lights at the Moxie Hotel. I had just a quick overnight near Newberry at this quaint little hotel called The Swan where I had the biggest bathtub and I couldn't resist taking a bath after dinner. I didn't get back to my room until after midnight after dinner with my colleagues, but it was totally worth it.
Thursday the 24th, which was Thanksgiving in the U.S., but was a full day of meetings for me after a delicious breakfast, and then I was off to London to visit with my girlfriends. On Sunday the 27th, Marta had to head back to Spain, so Laura and I spent the day browsing around Portobello Road in Notting Hill, where we got to see the infamous Notting Hill bookshop from the movie we all know and love. So I had a great time browsing around in there. We got some donuts next door and then spent most of the day just walking around, checking out the awesome vintage shops, both the actual stores and the marketplaces they have set up outside. We didn't get to see the antiques market because we weren't able to go on Saturday, but that was all right. I ended up scoring a really fun vintage dress that I'm excited to bring home and wear. When we left Portobello Road, we had just enough time to get to Loop London, the yarn shop that I had been eyeing before it closed. With train delays, we had maybe 15 minutes in the shop before it closed, but I did get a little bit of video to share with you. I had a really nice chat with the staff. There were several people working, all of whom were really helpful in pointing out things that were local or unique or just something fun. 
Laura picked out some yarn that she would like me to make her socks out of, so we're going to get started on those soon. The lady at the register asked what she was going to make with it, and Laura had to confess that she doesn't knit, but <laughs> enjoys her handmade things, so that was a really funny exchange. Here's a look at the second story where they have more of the heavier weight yarn, anything sport and above, I believe, is housed upstairs. I would definitely recommend you giving the shop a look if you're ever in London. The selection is huge and the staff is wonderful. When trying to figure out what to do to kill time before our dinner reservation, we ended up at this theater that had a movie playing at the exact moment we walked in. That was really fabulous. We ended the trip with a delicious dinner at Dishoom over in Shoreditch. And the next morning I headed off to Cardiff, so stay tuned for that video.